but now it's time to do some shopping, Lee, a whole lot of shopping. And unlike the old days, you don't have to wait until Black Friday to find those holiday bargains. Our Greg Chandler joins us live from Best Buy and Greg shopping there has been happening for what, an hour now? Yeah, so about, a little bit about an hour now, Katya, and it has been nonstop ever since they opened up the doors at five. You can probably see people walking in behind me still. For the shoppers, today is all about scoring the big bargain, but unlike previous years, the lines waiting to get in weren't nearly as long. It's becoming an annual tradition, lining up on Thanksgiving to get the best Black Friday deals. If you go on the actual Black Friday, everything's pretty much gone. Early shopping has been part of Morgan Burke's Thanksgiving for nearly a decade. Honestly, I don't even like Thanksgiving food, so I, <laughs> it doesn't really make a difference to me if I miss it. She got to La Palmera Mall around 11 <laughs> to be first in line when J.C. Penney opened at 2. I buy all of my little cousin's Christmas gifts and some of their birthday gifts, and um, I generally buy myself a TV every year. TVs were a popular item among those waiting here at Best Buy, even if the line was surprisingly short. At mid-afternoon, less than a dozen people were waiting. Eric Chandler was one of them. This is my first time I heard everybody talk about it, and I made it my business to be here today. Chandler was in line because he's spending the holiday away from home. He thinks this year's shorter lines means more people decided to spend the day with family. You got to weigh the pros and the cons, so should I spend time with family that I normally don't see too often, or should I come out here and stand? Uh, in line and wait for electronics. And there are a lot of people getting electronics here at Best Buy tonight, and the shopping fun is going to continue until 1 a.m., then they'll shut the doors and reopen tomorrow morning at 8. Katya. All right, Greg Chandler, thank you for that. By the way, La Palmera Mall is going to open their doors tomorrow at 6 in the morning. We have a list of store hours on our website at ChrisTV.com. Well, lots of folks probably got up this morning, realized they needed to do some last minute shopping for that big Thanksgiving meal at their house. Grocery stores full of shoppers today, taking it right down to the wire. But if that meant uh, taking a little extra time to put the finishing touches for a perfect Thanksgiving feast, they say it was worth the hassle. My last minute shopping is my, my husband gets this great idea that he wants to fry. We weren't going to do fried uh, turkey, but he said, I said, what's in the refrigerator? And he said, uh, I'm going to fry <laughs> turkey. Can you go get this? Can you go get that? I, well, I guess so. Here I am. <laughs> yeah, there she is. Well, all the H-E-B stores are closed for the day, but if you still need some last minute items, the area Walmart stores are open. All right, we've got continuing coverage on the weather with, uh, again, big changes of that front coming through, and then it's staying cloudy, as you can see here, but there's no rain in the area. It's uh, mild outside, and uh, overall, not too hot, not too warm, and not too cold uh, here in South Texas on this Thanksgiving. As you can see here, the rain, a little bit of it out here in Mexico and Del Rio, and we've got low clouds in the region. We will see a little bit of light rain develop here overnight, but it'll be uh, relatively warm. We're at 70 degrees right now, 57 in San Antonio. Warm air is returning from the Gulf of Mexico. We're at 67 at the Naval Air Station. We'll dip down into the 60s this evening and then rise overnight with these very light winds turning back out of the southeast. Now for that big game tomorrow at Buck Stadium that will be shown on Chris 6 here. We will see a lot of wind here tomorrow afternoon, but I think any rain we have will occur in the morning and that will be it. The winds will take over with temperatures in the 70s. In a few minutes, a complete forecast right here. Lee? All right, thank you very much, Dale. In other news, a Corpus Christi driver now faces intoxication manslaughter charges in connection with a fatal pedestrian accident last night. A victim crossing Weber near SBID around 7 p.m. when he was hit by a truck. The driver remained there at the scene, but he was detained by police as part of the investigation. The victim, a man in his 30s, died on the way to a hospital. Police say he was not in a crosswalk when he was hit. Although the victim was at fault, police say the driver could still be charged if they determined that alcohol was involved. More than 50,000 Port Nietzsche's area residents spent their Thanksgiving under a mandatory evacuation order. They were forced out of their homes because of a massive fire and explosion at a chemical plant. The plant was the scene of two huge explosions yesterday. The fire continues to burn today. The evacuation order covers a four mile radius around the plant. Three workers and five residents were injured by the blast.
Well, for most of us, Thanksgiving is a day to spend with family and friends. But sadly for the homeless, it can be just another day of trying to survive out on the streets. But as Chris Six reporter Ashley Portillo shows us, so volunteers spent their holiday bringing holiday cheer to the homeless. So today, local homeless shelters like the Good Samaritan Rescue Mission open their doors to provide a Thanksgiving dinner to hundreds of homeless people and dozens of volunteers also came and gave their time to help serve those in need. Just good to see the folks stepping out and taking care of other people. They're extremely thankful. From the turkey to the veggies to the pies, all of it was served at homeless shelters across the city. This is fantastic. This is super cool. At the Good Samaritan Rescue Mission, volunteers fed almost 200 people. Life is good. That's what I say. I mean, these people are so blessed, you know, to go out of their way to, to you know, to, you know, help needy people. And over at Mission 911, about a dozen people sat down for their turkey dinner with side orders of good company. Today, I feel happy. I'm in the spirit of everything when I, I wasn't in the spirit before. And those who are separated from their loved ones found comfort with friends that have turned into family. I was always spending these holidays by myself. Now I have seven, eight, nine, ten brothers with me. So I'm grateful. And no matter what, everyone was thankful for having one another. Just enjoying uh, wonderful people and very blessed to uh, be eating a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner and then watch football. Ashley Portillo, Chris, 6 News. And by the way, those Thanksgiving meals served at Mission 911 made possible thanks to donations from local businesses like Redline Burgers and the Riddle Room. Well, the Salvation Army Shelter on Josephine Street also opened its doors today and its heart to the homeless. They held their annual Thanksgiving lunch. More than 400 people showed up for this feast. Over two dozen volunteers started cooking at 4 o'clock this morning. They made sure that there was enough food to go around and everyone got an extra serving of love. Being in service, it's taking what you have and, and giving that light to somebody else. Uh, people who are homeless and in shelters, they're coming from a place where they need joy. And uh, when you have Christ in your life, you have joy, so you spread the joy. That's right, and Salvation Army organizers say they wanted to provide good fellowship for those without a home. Well, there was hot food for the hungry and music for the soul over at Sokol Hall today. That sings my soul. Now this is where the 76th annual Joe Salem Thanksgiving dinner was held. The late Joe Salem, a local businessman, started this celebration as a way to give something back to the community. Hundreds of turkey leg dinners with all the fixings and tons of desserts were served today, but there's a special ingredient that has kept this celebration going year after year. Everything that, that happens here is from the heart. Uh, local companies also donated prizes and gift cards and even some bikes there that were all given away during today's meal. See those turkey legs are known yeah, for that. Good. So the Mother Teresa shelter, by the way, they were handing out blessings today. Thank you. Happy Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Volunteers at the shelter handed out blessing bags. They were filled with toiletries like deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrushes, and body washes. Over 200 of these blessing bags were distributed today. It's thanks to a partnership between the shelter and Coastal Community and Teachers Credit Union. So, how did you celebrate Thanksgiving today? By eating. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to take a look at this special day and how it was celebrated around the country. And we also asked some of your neighbors what they're thankful for this year. You're going to hear their answers as we go to commercial breaks all throughout the newscast. Mostly just thankful for my family and life. I actually found my whole family after 27 years. I found my kids, my, my sister, four nephews. I got four grandkids I didn't know about. I haven't seen them in 27 years. Found them last week. God blessed me this year.
Chris 6 News is brought to you by NAC Co-op Energy, your not-for-profit electricity source for home and business. Now, Chris 6 News at 6 continues. Well, President Trump did not spend Thanksgiving at home. Indeed he didn't. He made a surprise visit to Afghanistan to spend time with the American troops who were deployed there. The president flew into Bagram Airfield and spent more than two and a half hours on the ground. During his visit, he announced the U.S. holding peace talks with the Taliban and he believes that they want a ceasefire. The president helped serve turkey dinners to the troops and thanked them for their service. But there's nowhere I'd rather celebrate this Thanksgiving than right here with the toughest, strongest, best and bravest warriors on the face of the earth. You are indeed that. You may recall the president and first lady made a similar trip to Iraq last year on Christmas night. Vice President Mike Pence also paid a visit to troops in Iraq this week. Well, as always, there is more to Thanksgiving than family get-togethers and that big turkey dinner. It's also about pigskin pooches and parades. Dan Sheneman shows us how the country celebrated Thanksgiving 2019. The day started with tradition. In New York City, millions of spectators feasted their eyes on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I mean, to the moon and back, it's just been fantastic. Despite concerns about high winds, the balloons got off the ground. We love Snoopy. Snoopy was the best. One balloon, Ronald McDonald, was deflated when a small tear became a large tear. The Belgian Malinois. Some Americans chose pups over parades and watched the National Dog Show. Mitch Trubisky. While football fans could have some pigskin with their turkey, the NFL's day kicked off in Detroit. Three, two, one. The holiday started at the starting line in South Florida, where thousands of runners hit the road at a turkey trot. I'm going to run three miles. It's kind of motivating to start the day, you know, and starting the holiday. So, And then we get to eat more turkey. For others, the buffet line had to follow waiting in line for some pre-Black Friday deals. I'm looking for a new TV in my room. Yeah, so, so I'll be getting that. Happy Thanksgiving, and remember, Christmas is less than a month away. Dan Sheneman, NBC News. Christmas is less than a month away. <laughs> was Dale mentioned earlier, the weather was mild, but a bit gloomy today. Mm -hmm, but uh, will it brighten up in time for the weekend? Find out after the break. <laughs> We're thankful for being as a family, being together. And I'm very thankful for my family. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for Lime Scooters. <laughs> no, what I'm very thankful for is the Lord above. God, God takes care of me.
6 weather is brought to you by Aztec Chevrolet in Beeville. Visit AzTecAutoplex.com. Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Welcome back, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving. Beautiful day here is your Aztec Chevrolet forecast up in Beeville. We had uh, great weather there and everywhere else in the coastal bend, although it was cloudy and right now 70 degrees. The high today was 71, which is one degree below normal. So I think we'll take it. And uh, again, overall, not bad. We'll drop to 68 in a couple hours and then on into the upper 60s around midnight. But a milder air will be moving in from the Gulf as our winds go from east northeast to easterly and then on to east southeasterly and southeast. Our temperatures will actually be steady or slowly rising through the night to about 70 to 71 by daybreak and we'll pick up a few showers. This looks like a lot of rain. We're not going to see that. This is just uh, what the graphics are showing, but we're actually just going to pick up a little bit of light rain here overnight and early in the morning. Damp and mild, some light rain around at 7 and 70 degrees. Windy and warmer though at noon and 79 and warm and breezy and 77. Not a lot of sunshine again tomorrow, just like today at 5 p.m. But uh, that changes here by the time we get through the weekend. 80 will be the high tomorrow, 79 in Sinton, 78 in Refurio, about 82 down in Falfurious and Premont. And you can see the cloud cover right here on the satellite and radar. So our frontal system is out in the Gulf of Mexico and it's backing up and warm air is overriding it. So the front is out there and the warm air goes over the top of it. That causes a little bit of lift. That moisture condenses and it causes some light rain to occur. Southwesterly flow aloft. We talked extensively about the overrunning yesterday. But why this is backing up is because this powerful storm system in the central Rockies is pulling it in that direction. This low is going to scream out of the Rockies and into the plains tomorrow. That's why we're going to get windy here with gusts up to 30 miles an hour or so in the afternoon. And then it'll race off to the northeast and weaken over the weekend. There's our southwesterly flow. You can see our moisture here. But then we also have drier air in the mid and upper levels indicated in brown here in the Gulf that will spread over the region tomorrow. And that's why we'll start to see the sunshine come out later on. This low, instead of digging further south, is actually going to kick out to the north and east on Saturday. That sends a cold front through here Saturday night, but it'll be weak because it's coming from the Rockies and not up here in Canada. Ridge builds over Sunday and Monday and gorgeous weather expected here then for next week. Clouds and rain forecast looks like this. And again, we'll see showers in the morning early on before daybreak by 2 o'clock with that big game that uh, Thomas J. Henry is sponsoring out at Buck Stadium. The uh, rain should be over with, but it'll stay cloudy and breezy across the region. And we'll see the uh, rainfall amounts again in the morning could total around a quarter of an inch. And the winds, they will turn southeasterly and increase here tomorrow afternoon. So here is a look at your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast. And it looks like this across the region, 70 tonight. That'll be after midnight, 80 tomorrow, 87 Saturday, and then cooler and nicer Sunday through Thursday of next week. We actually end up in the uh, mid to upper 40s there Monday and Tuesday morning, but terrific. Sounds nice. That's great. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dale. Well, coming up at sports, we're now just a day away from the regional semifinal round of the high school football playoffs. And after the break, Jeff is going to have a preview of some of the games that he has his eyes on. I'm thankful for my wife. I'm thankful for my grandkids. Bless them for all the blessings from God. I'm thankful for my family and all my friends, um, my pets. I'm just really thankful for God also. He brought me here and everything. Happy Thanksgiving. Mic check, one, two, three. 